Get me out of here! I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me! Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. Dr. Fred, is that you? What? You're nuts. There hasn't been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred was such a shame to the whole family, not to mention the whole human race. Well, who are you then? I'm Zed Edison. That's my wife, Zedna, and my son, Ved. Huh. Huh. Nice to meet you. Where am I? You're in the ancestral home of the once proud Edison family. We were once the masters of this house, just as humans were once the masters of Earth. Now we are the servants, the pets. And not very good at either one, I might add. Oh, get bent, you overdressed nightcrawler. What's this about a human show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who were paid off weeks in advance. Didn't get in, eh? They said macrame wasn't a talent. Pointy-headed goons. I heard that. How do I get out of here? If I knew that, do you think I'd be here? I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only... human. Hey, they can cheat, you can't! You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you going to use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Do you want to use mine? Uh, no. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh, sit. Stay. Good boy. My name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. What are you, uh, guys waiting for? We're all waiting for the human show to begin, of course. If your owner's going to interview Zed, better get you some name tags quick. 
But then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. I'm the most beautiful human there is. Hey, hold that thought. I got a boogie. Keep in touch! Hey, how'd you get out? Get back in there! I wish Dr. Tentacle would stop losing patience. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Tell me, Lieutenant, how do you really feel about humans? Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening, like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up, like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days, like- That's enough, son. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. I'm no humophile, sir. That's good. Now, let me tell you about a little plan I have. They may be oppressive and power mad, but at least the tentacles recycle stuff. Hmm, it's empty. It's an empty storage cabinet. It's busted up good. No way could I reach that. There's no way to open it. Why would I want to get through there? There's no way to open it. Why would I want to get through there anyway? It's a two-story drop to the sh- Hi, I'm La- Ooh-wee, you are one ugly human. Excuse me? Man, I'm not kidding. You are just about the homeliest homo sapien I've ever seen. Thanks. You ain't so hot yourself. I never said I was, but sheesh, have you taken a look at yourself lately? I mean, your hair alone is gonna give me nightmares. Not to mention your teeth, your clothes, your one eye that's bigger than the other. Gee, how much worse could I get? Not much, unless there were two of you. What is this, a beauty contest? Yes. Oh. Well, I don't know if you could really call a human show a beauty contest. It's more like a least ugly contest. Human show? Hot dang, sign me up! Sorry, humans can't sign themselves up, no matter how ugly they are. Go ask your owner to sign you up. Ask him to sign you up for a haircut while they're at it. Uh, the guard guy wants to see you in the kennel. He said to just leave all your stuff here. Which guard? What's his name? I don't know. I usually call him Mr. Tentacle Guy. 
What a coincidence. That's my name. Really? Of course not. Now beat it. I got a lot of standing around to do. I'll ruin the show for everybody if you don't let me in. You'd ruin it for everybody if I did. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. I wish I had some sort of tentacle disguise. Hey, Dr. Fred! You're going to get really chafed hands doing that. Sorry, coffee jitters. Maybe you should switch to decaf. No, then I'd fall asleep and the dreams would come. Well, gotta go save the world. Good luck! It's back on now. Mmm, thanks. I needed a little pick-me-up. <coughs> Must open safe. Must sign contract. Must provide for family. It looks awful heavy. It looks awful heavy. It looks awful heavy. Creepy. Must be an Edison. It looks awful heavy. Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? Yes, that's right. I knew it! You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? I'm a repairman. I've come to fix your VCR. There's nothing wrong with my VCR. You keep your paws off of it. I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs>
That's one of the few places where fake barf isn't useful. Well, that's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. Wow, it doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing where you're from. Where exactly did you come from? The future. Kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? Ooh, the future. I'm from the future. Look out. Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here anymore. I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here? Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. What kind of people? Big, dumb people. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. I can't crush two egos in one day. Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model. It's one of those pulley things. The Constitutional Convention invites your comments, critiques, amendments to the Constitution. I don't wanna. <clears throat> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh, ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm, whatever you say, George. 
your names on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes, it's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good, and so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? Hey, what is it this time? What was it you needed for that battery again? Oil, vinegar, and gold. I still need the vinegar and gold. Let me know if you happen across any. Hey, Tall, Dark, and Spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure. I've heard of you, dude. What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas. My name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. Later, bra. What? What's going to happen later? Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. Yo. Hello. What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. He's going to give the log to starving children? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here.
awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my d dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. Well, I gotta go, dude. That won't fit in there. Sorry, I'm saving it. It's going to be a famous law. Excuse me. Yes? Cold enough for you? Cold? Why, you don't know the meaning of the word. I spent a winter at Valley Forge. Now that was cold. Why, my spit would freeze before it hit the ground. Cool. Extremely. Excuse me. Yes? Do you really have wooden teeth? As a matter of fact, I do make use of artificial teeth. I find them to be far superior to the ordinary enamel variety. Wow, what do you brush them with? I use a toothbrush, much like everyone else. And a bit of wood polish, of course. Doesn't that taste awful? Not if you take them out first. Where could I get some of those? They're rather expensive. Mine were custom made for me by my good friend Paul Revere. Didn't he invent 3D glasses? I believe you have him confused with someone else. Don't you have a problem with splinters? I've been to war, boy. No one who's heard the thunder of musket fire, smelled the sulfur from a cannon blast, and felt the fear in the hearts of his comrades is going to be bothered by a little thing like, oh, blast it. Well, what about termites? Hardly. Weren't you president or something? Yes, I expect to be chosen president unanimously. I'm very well connected. Do you think I should be the ecology president or the education president? Depends on how many cherry trees you've chopped down. Excellent point. I think it's freezing in here, don't you? Freezing? Poppycock. Could you use these? No thanks, I already have some false teeth. Pony Express stamps. Yes, not the most valuable kind, but they have a lot of sentimental value to me.
Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them... How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a birdbath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like... Ding! Oh, God! I hear it in my dreams till this day. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes. But then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. Hey, wanna see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Uh... My Pony Express stamps. You'll ruin my Pony Express stamps. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. He should really try to find some outlet for those... negative feelings. Get out of here! I don't wanna. It's got a picture of a guy on a horse.
I'd rather not. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. I'd rather not. And I thought glow-in-the-dark fake doo-doo was such a good idea. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? <laughs> Probably another rejection slip. Oh, well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. are growing in it. <laughs> 